Modeling in context is a powerful way to design with a top-down approach. This feature set can be used in a master model workflow instead of the derived feature. This is a useful workflow when you need to model around predetermined locations of other components in an assembly. You can use a sketch or space allocation part for this workflow. Typically, in-context design is used when needing relationships between parts that were created in separate part studios, or in separate link documents, or when geometric references are dependent on the assembly's position. For example, the space allocation part defines the overall shape of the parts needed. This is the master data in this example. Several off-the-shelf components interface to various positions of the space allocation part using these mate connectors. Then, the enclosure part should be modeled around the positioned off-the-shelf components using the shape of the space allocation part. The space allocation part is modeled in a part studio. Mate connectors are added to the positions for the off-the-shelf components. Then, the space allocation part is inserted into the assembly. The off-the-shelf components are mated into the assembly using the established mate connectors. Now you can start creating the enclosure parts with the in-context design workflow. You can decide to create the new parts in a new part studio, or in the same part studio as the space allocation part. We recommend keeping them separate from the master data part studio. Click Create New Part Studio in Context on the assembly toolbar. Establish how the origin of the new part studio aligns to the assembly. A new part studio tab is added to the document. Editing in context, which is the active tab to the part studio for editing. The rest of the assembly components are visually ghosted, leaving them available for selections to define features and sketches within the part studio. Now you can model around the parts in the assembly to create the enclosure. Rename the context with the ellipsis button located in the Assembly's Context section above the Feature list. Choose Rename. Multiple contexts can be created for the same assembly in various positions, so be sure to give it a name that will adequately describe its use for easy recognition. Accept the rename. Modify the part adding references to the assembly parts. This allows parts created in isolation to drive the geometry of another. When done editing in context, go back to the assembly by clicking the Done button at the top of the model view. An in-context indicator is placed next to the part name in the instance list for quick identification of which parts have in-context references. For parts that are in the same part studio as the in-context reference, but are not the primary reference, a slightly different indicator is placed to quickly identify that part studio as having context. When assembly components change or shift position, the in-context design can be updated to reflect changes affecting the reference. Contexts do not update automatically. They are left for the user to control if or when the update is needed. To update an in-context reference, right-click on the part in the instance list or right-click on the part itself and choose Update Context. This lists all the available context designs that have been created for that part studio. Select the context desired. A dialog appears in the top of the model view indicating the update was successful. Keep in mind, when using this workflow, any parts added to the assembly are automatically added to the build materials by default. In this example, the space allocation part is included in the assembly build material. To remove it from the build materials, open the build material table, right click on the row, and select Exclude from Build Material. As you can see, in-context design provides a multitude of robust benefits from a top-down design approach, allowing your models to be isolated for sleek performance, yet still referencing each other. If you want a resource which covers in-context design methods in more detail, consider checking out our self-paced managed in-context design course. And professionals should consider checking out our self-guided top-down design course available for enrollment in our course catalog.